The <gasps> iPhone 17 Pro might finally bring a long-awaited upgrade to its video recording capabilities. A new rumor suggests that Apple could introduce 8K video recording, a feature that has been missing from iPhones while competitors have offered it for years. If true, this upgrade would put Apple's flagship device on par with rivals like Samsung, which has supported 8K recording on its Galaxy S Ultra models since 2020. The iPhone 17 series is expected to launch in September, and as usual, leaks and rumors are already spreading. Some reports claim Apple will introduce a significant redesign, while others suggest hardware improvements. One of the latest rumors comes from tipster Fix Focus Digital on Waymo, who suggests that Apple will enable 8K recording for the iPhone 17. While the source doesn't specify which models, it is likely that this feature will be exclusive to the Pro versions. Currently, no iPhone supports video recording above 4K resolution. However, this isn't the first time rumors of 8K video on iPhones have surfaced. Back in 2024, there were reports that Apple was testing this feature for the iPhone 16 Pro, but it never made it to the final version. If the iPhone 17 Pro does get 8K recording, it could also improve spatial video recording for the Apple Vision Pro. The overall impact of this upgrade will depend on whether one or multiple sensors on the iPhone 17 Pro support 8K recording. Apart from camera improvements, rumors suggest a possible shift in the iPhone's build materials. Apple introduced titanium with the iPhone 15 Pro, but some sources claim that at least part of the iPhone 17 lineup might switch to a half aluminum, half glass design. However, it remains unclear whether this change would apply to the Pro models or just the standard versions. If Apple does move away from titanium, it could be for cost-saving reasons or to achieve a different balance between durability and weight. Another major rumor suggests that Apple introduced a new model in the lineup, possibly replacing the Plus variant. This new device, rumored to be called the iPhone 17 Air, is expected to be ultra-thin, with leaked CAD-based designs showing it to be nearly half as thick as the iPhone 17 Pro. If this turns out to be true, it could become one of the thinnest smartphones ever made, which might appeal to users who prefer a sleek and lightweight device. However, making the phone thinner could also mean compromises in battery capacity or other internal components. If Apple does introduce 8K video recording, it will be interesting to see how it compares to Samsung's implementation. The latest Galaxy S25 Ultra now allows 8K recording on three different cameras, giving users more flexibility when shooting high-resolution content. Apple is known for its advanced video processing and software optimization, so the company may find a way to deliver better quality or additional features that enhance 8K recording. With so many rumors circulating, it will be exciting to see what Apple actually delivers in September. Whether it's 8K video recording, a thinner design, or an entirely new model, the iPhone 17 series is shaping up to be one of the most anticipated smartphone launches of the year. The latest official renders of the Samsung Galaxy S25 Edge have surfaced, showcasing a highly anticipated device in three striking colors. As the launch date approaches, excitement continues to build, and these renders provide a closer look at what Samsung has in store. The device is shown in titanium jet black, titanium silver, and titanium icy blue, which align with the color options available for other models in the S25 series. While these are the standard shades, Samsung may also offer additional online exclusive colors through its eShop, giving buyers more choices. The design matches what Samsung previously hinted at during its unpacked event and Mobile World Congress. The Galaxy S25 Edge follows a sleek and modern design language with a flat Infinity O display, slim bezels, and a flat frame. The back of the device features a camera island that houses two cameras alongside an LED flash. Unlike the other S25 models that come with three or more cameras, the S25 Edge keeps things minimal with just two lenses. The primary camera is expected to boast an impressive 200 megapixel resolution, while the second camera is likely a 12 megapixel ultra-wide lens. This setup may appeal to users who prefer a cleaner look while still benefiting from high-resolution photography. The display is rumored to be a 6.7-inch Super AMOLED panel with a resolution of 2400x1080. This should provide sharp visuals with vibrant colors, making it an excellent screen for watching videos, gaming, and general usage. Beneath the screen, Samsung is expected to equip the device with the Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy, the same powerful chipset found in the rest of the S25 lineup. This processor ensures smooth performance, handling demanding tasks with ease. The battery capacity is reportedly 3,900 million pair hours, which could raise concerns about battery life, especially given the power requirements of the high-resolution display and chipset. However, Samsung may have optimized the software and efficiency to provide a full day of usage. 
One of the most intriguing aspects of the Galaxy S25 Edge is its thin profile. While official dimensions have yet to be confirmed, some leaks suggest that the device could measure just 5.8 millimeters in thickness. If true, this would make it one of the slimmest smartphones on the market, offering a premium feel without adding unnecessary bulk. The trade-off for such a slim design may be the absence of a dedicated telephoto camera, as Samsung has seemingly prioritized aesthetics over additional hardware. Instead, computational photography techniques could be used to enhance zoom capabilities without needing extra lenses. Samsung is rumored to launch the Galaxy S25 Edge in April, possibly without a major promotional event. This suggests that the company sees it as a niche offering rather than a mainstream flagship. As for pricing, it is expected to be positioned between the Galaxy S25 Plus and the Galaxy S25 Ultra, with estimates ranging between $999 and $1,299. The exact price will determine how well it competes in the market, especially with other premium devices offering more camera features at similar price points. The Galaxy S25 Edge is shaping up to be more impressive than expected, especially when it comes to its display. According to a new leak from Ice Universe on Weibo, the ultra-thin smartphone will feature a 2K resolution screen, likely the same 1440x3120 resolution panel used in the Galaxy S25+. Plus. This is an interesting revelation because previous rumors suggested Samsung might use a lower resolution Edge G+, 1080p display to conserve battery life. Given that the Galaxy S25 Edge is designed to be extremely thin, some concerns remain about battery capacity. A higher resolution display typically consumes more power, so many expected Samsung to opt for a lower resolution to extend battery life. However, if Samsung is confident that the Galaxy S25 Edge can deliver all-day battery life, even with a 1440p screen, that's a great sign for potential buyers. That said, some smartphone users argue that the difference between QHD, 1440p, and FHD Plus, 1080p, is barely noticeable in daily use. For those who prioritize battery life over resolution, this might not be a major concern. Still, having a high-resolution panel on a thin device is a welcome surprise as it ensures that users will get a premium visual experience. The latest leak also reveals that the Galaxy S25 Edge will feature a titanium alloy midframe, similar to the Galaxy S25 Ultra, this should give the phone a premium feel while keeping it lightweight and durable. In addition, previous leaks have suggested that the phone will come in titanium icy blue, titanium silver, and titanium jet black. Under the hood, the Galaxy S25 Edge will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite processor, the same chipset used across the entire Galaxy S25 lineup. It will also include 12 gigabytes of RAM, ensuring smooth multitasking and fast performance. The 6.7-inch AMOLED display will support a 120Hz refresh rate, making scrolling and animations feel extra smooth. One of the most notable aspects of the Galaxy S25 Edge is its camera setup. Despite being incredibly thin, the phone is expected to feature the same 200-megapixel main sensor found in the Galaxy S25 Ultra. This should allow for excellent image quality, even if the rest of the camera system isn't as advanced as the Ultra model. To maintain its slim design, Samsung has reportedly decided to remove the dedicated telephoto camera from the Galaxy S25 Edge. Instead, the phone will rely on computational photography to enhance zoomed-in shots. While a physical telephoto or periscope lens would have delivered better optical zoom, these components tend to add bulk, making them unsuitable for an ultra-thin device. Samsung's software-based zoom enhancements have improved significantly over the years, so this trade-off might not be a deal-breaker for most users. The Galaxy S25 Edge will also come with an IP68 rating, meaning it will be resistant to dust and water. This is an important feature, especially for those who want a stylish, slim phone that doesn't sacrifice durability.